let me uh, emphasize that I'm very sorry that I cannot talk to you in Italian. <laughs> but I tell you a secret, uh, that I am trying to learn Italian. <laughs> I still remember, I think it was after the third novel I wrote about it. I call it the diabetes syndrome. Uh, I spoke with a very close friend of mine, a female doctor, who had read the novels that I've written so far. And I asked her, what kind of disease would you give this man? And without hesitating for one second, she said, oh, he's going to get diabetes. And this was physical change. But then, actually, there is also a change of opinions. I would say that in the last novel, he's much more radical than he was in the first one. In 1994, I think it was, in Sweden, we had election to decide whether we wanted to be a member of the European Union or not. And at that time, I was walking a street in the central center of Stockholm. Then, all of a sudden, an older gentleman came up to me and asked me, very polite, I would like very much to know whether Mr. Wallander is going to vote yes or no to the European <laughs> Union. I said, I believe that he's going to vote opposite to what I vote. And I must say, isn't that the idea of art? That in a way you get friends out of books, out of movies, out of theater, out of paintings, that you can take with you out in life and keep as a friend. And so is Valander a person that has gone out in the world, out of the book sites, to be a friend of very many people in most strange countries that exist.